Today's review, we're covering a Neckfire earbuds, A9s or G10s. Let's get to it. For those of you that have never met me before, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Brandon No D. That's right, there is absolutely no D in this name. And I love to do earbuds such as today's video, camera gear, vlogs, tech reviews of all sorts. If any of that seems to catch your eye, I encourage you, hit my subscribe button, make that first step, hit the bell, hit all, and I will personally make you guys a promise to deliver good, quality and honest reviews because that folks is how i roll today we're going to cover the enek fire lineup of two really important earbuds that i want to share with you guys today um, that being the a9 and the g10 why brandon are you comparing these two when they are so far different as far as price goes and options because i think they're both worthy of talking to you about today and you're gonna find out. All right, let's get this review over as quickly and as painless as possible. Let's hit the sky cam. All right, guys, introducing the A9 and the G10. Right off the bat, you're gonna realize that they are extremely different in sizes of the case and obviously the style of the earbud. But what you'll find in each box is expect the unexpected. This is a nice little folder that has your instruction manual. And what I love about a Neckfire is they equip you with a two year warranty on all their products. And I think that is pretty legit to have that long of a warranty uh, backing their product. Also in the box, you're gonna get your USB-C charging port. That's right, both units have the type C, which is fantastic, no micro here. And they also have a bag of small, medium, and large silicone tips, medium being on each earbud as they come out of the box. All right, let's go ahead and look at the A9 real quick. Now, I like this type of case because it just reminds me of dental floss. And I know you guys won't be able to get that out of your mind once I've said that, but that's what it reminds me of. And it's just an easy, pocketable type of case. Let's go ahead and give it the Brannon gravity test. And usually, yeah, usually with stem style earbuds, they're gonna seat down inside here and the magnets on here are usually very strong. So no problems there. Let's take a look at the Neckfire G10s and they are in a different case altogether. It's a long rectangular case, not as pocketable or comfortable as the A9s I wouldn't say, but nonetheless, I think it'll be just fine. It's not too bulky. And let's go ahead and pop these open. Now these are the button style, so this might fall out when I do the test. I have not tested this yet. Let's check it out. You know what? <laughs> 
that's not bad. That's not bad at all. I think you'll be fine. And it looks like the lid stays open, which is really nice. It's got a little bit of a, a hard feel to it. So that's not going to plop down when you move them back and forth. Let's take out the A9s first. And obviously you're going to see a style that I'm so used to, and that is the stem style. And I don't mind stems. Some of you may prefer not to have that style, but uh, I, I don't mind either or as long as they fit comfortably in the ear. And uh, I noticed right away when I did put them in the ear, they fit just fine. So I'm very used to them and they're not real long stems, which is kind of nice. So it's kind of right in between. And these are gonna be sensor controlled rather than physical buttons. Now let's take a look at the G10s. These are small guys, and that's what I really like. A lot of people are starting to desire the smaller earbud because when you stick it in your ear, it's flush. You can lay on your side and it's not gonna get in the way. There's a lot of flushness there. Flushness, I don't even think that's a word, but I just made it up, so we're gonna keep it. These are the medium uh, ear tips, and I. They seem to fit just fine. So there you have it. And these are also censored buttons as well, not physical. All right, guys, let's go ahead and nerd out for a quick second. We're gonna go over the specs on both of these together. All right, looking at both earbuds, we're gonna refer the Anekfire A9s as the A9 and the Anekfire G10 as the G10. Simple enough? Okay. All right, on the A9s, you're gonna get 32 hours of playtime on the case and eight hours on a single charge. On the G10s, you're gonna get 36 hours hours of playtime on the case and six hours per charge. And both models support the independent feature, which means you can use either the right or the left. Singly, there is no master or slave. Very nice feature. Both the A9 and the G10 have Bluetooth 5.0, but the G10 is boasting a little more about gaming and we'll get into that a little bit later in the video. And last but not least, the A9 is an IPX7 water resistant rating. And I think that's a fantastic rating. Anything higher than a five is gonna do you just fine for uh, heavy workouts, uh, sweating, water resistant, things like that. The G10, however, is giving you an IPX8. So a little bit better than the A9, maybe because of the style from stem to buttons, not sure. All right, let's go ahead and cover the features of one that has it and one that don't. Meaning the A9 is going to come with ANC and transparency mode. Awesome feature. Active noise cancellation or transparency mode where you can hear the ambience around you. The G10s, however, do not have either feature. However, the G10s are boasting that they have the mobile gaming low latencies. So that is true. We did test that earlier on. And the G10s do, in fact, have no latency playing mobile games. All right, guys, let's go ahead and hit the sound test booth and find out which earbud I'm going to like better or worse. Let's go. All right, so let's go ahead and test the A9s first. And that being said, with the transparency mode and the ANC mode, I like to test those out before we play a song. All right, so right now I have noise canceling off. Can hear the dog. Can hear the PC in the background, no problem. Uh, let's go ahead and... Can hear the dog very well. Uh, let's go ahead and change it into transparency mode. They are calling it ambient on. Yes, I can hear my voice extremely well. I can hear all around me. The fan noise just got a lot louder. Uh, I really like the ambient uh, option on earbuds because you're able to hear all around you. It's a safety measure, really. All right, let's go ahead and test the ANC and that's done by tapping. And I'm kind of glad my dog's barking right now because I want to know if it's going to muffle her out. Of course, she doesn't want to bark now. You know what, for the price of these, the ANC on these are fantastic. It does mute out the fan noise. Nice, nice and quiet. So yeah, these are gonna be fine on um, a train, a plane, a bus. It's gonna drown out most of the ambient noise behind you and you're gonna be able to submerge yourself with the music. All right, let's go ahead and pull a song from Artlist and today's featured song is going to be The Watchtower by Oliver Michael. Nice. Bass is starting to rise. Here we go. Hang on a second. 
deep bass, deep. You can feel it. It's deep, but rich, if that makes any sense. The highs, the mids are, they sound real premium. All right, let me go ahead and play some more. Wow. That's beautiful. Okay. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. I'm sold on the A9s for sure. Let's see what the G10s are all about. And once you find out the price, oh hell, hell with it. Let's just let's just clear the elephant out of the room, okay? A9s right now on Amazon are selling for $49.98, under $50, guys, with ANC and transparency. It's incredible. G10s. $26.99. $26.99, guys. Half the price. Let's see if it's half the sound. Let's check it out. All right, I'm just going to play where we left off. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> They're nice. Okay, hang on a second. All right, so the bass is still deep. It's not as rich as the A9s, but it's so close. So let me hear some more. Oh, they're close. They're real close. Twenty six ninety, twenty six ninety nine. All right, so it doesn't have the transparency mode. It doesn't have the um, ANC, but the sound for the price, it's incredible. Did I say that already? I've said that too many times. It's incredible. All right. Okay, all right. We don't have to test these as far as sound any longer. I'll tell you what, what we can do is give you guys a quick mic test. Let's go do that right now. All right, guys, obviously you're hearing me through my professional microphone, but let's go ahead and hear what it sounds like on the A9s now. All right, guys, this is a test coming from the Anekfire A9s. Let me know how it sounds. I won't know until I throw it in post and play it back. And this is what it would sound like in a phone call scenario. How does it sound? Hopefully sounds good. All right, let's go ahead and test the Anekfire G10s. All right, guys, I have now put the G10s in and you are hearing the professional mic, but let's go ahead and test out the G10s right now. All right, so this is the Anekfire G10. How do I sound? I'm just going to take a stab at it and say that the A9s probably sound a little better than the G10s, and that's only because of price difference. But I could be wrong. You guys make the decision. All right, guys, that is definitely proof in the pudding. I'm going to say both the A9 and the G10s are both outstanding sets of earbuds, yet are different as well. Now, the A9s obviously is going to be more for the consumer that wants the ANC feature and the transparency mode. The G10 consumer would be more of a gamer, I think, or just somebody that wants a budget set of earbuds. I mean, come on, $26.99 for a pair of earbuds that sound like this. It's a no-brainer, guys, for sure. Now, although I am not sponsored or endorsed through a Neckfire, they simply send me the products and I do you guys the reviews, and that's how it works. Now, as far as Brandon recommending uh, either or, it's really going to be up to you guys. Do you like the stems? Do you like the buttons? To make it easier for you guys, I will be sure to drop affiliate links for both the A9 and the G10 down in my description below and where you can decide to pick up either or or both. Obviously, before you go, we're going to go ahead and open up a fortune cookie because that's how we roll on Brandon No D's channel. So let's see what today's fortune brings us. And if I play my cards right, it looks like we're going to have a fortune cookie tomorrow, too, because I need to get two videos out at least this weekend. 
I am bombarded with products. You guys have no idea how many videos are coming your way. You guys are gonna get sick of me by the time this is all over with. All right, let's go ahead and pop it open. All right, today's fortune is be patient, good things come to those who wait. Now, you guys probably aren't going to believe this, but I can tell you exactly where I was. I was at work and I thought to myself, I wonder if my fortune will ever say all good things come to those who wait. But that is so ironic that I said all, all good things come to those who wait. And now I'm getting the actual fortune. All good things come to those who wait. I'm thinking that maybe there's some truth to this fortune. Don't forget to like and share this video as it helps my channel grow tremendously. You guys all know that. And you also know, I'll be seeing you. <laughs> you guys know. Brandon will be seeing you real soon in my next video.